could you guys tell us how you met? It's like, I'm sure we wanted, like, uh, the guys watching are kind of fascinated by the stuff about the game. So how did you guys actually end up meeting? I, I, I suspect... I suspect we were both invited to the same gathering in the daytime, you know, a gathering. I think, I think it was at Project Hollywood on um, okay. collections. I do recollect at Mel's Diner, I don't know it's how we first met, yeah. sitting around the table with Eric, with Neil, Limach Shamo, I would say to him in Hebrew, Neil, if you're watching, you know what that meant in Hebrew. Anyways, okay, I don't. So who's he? Neil Strauss. No, no. who's Mach Shamo? Lemach Shemo is a curse in Hebrew. <laughs> okay. so, um, Neil, Eric, Tyler, or Owen, when Owen was a fresh-faced kid off the boat in Canada, yeah. at the time, Owen just didn't make eye contact. He was very socially awkward. Yeah. Uh, Papa was he there. Found his I... Hmm? Did he, Tyler Durden, Owen, he found yeah. his voice, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. He sure did. Sure did. But power to him, man. That guy's yeah. got a work ethic second to none. Yeah. Um, and I think Papa, his business partner at the time, came along. I don't quite remember. And that was it. And then I remember, as Eric re recalled in his interview with you, um, I was giving, we were both giving talks at Project Hollywood. Eric was in the I don't remember you being in the whirlpool or I was uh, in the whirlpool while you I were there you. watching. I was so excited by that. I had a beautiful girl with me that I was madly in love with at the time. She was very attractive. Uh, HB the one. And uh, and so I was in the pool with with her while you were in front of what? A hundred guys, 80 guys. I don't know. And we I was, still Owen was laying at my feet like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know, I think, I think uh, that's what you did is you, you inspired hope in people, all those people, because they all went out. Everyone after our seminars would go game Hollywood Boulevard. They'd go to the, to the Standard Lounge. Some of the poor nice people on Hollywood. Poor people on Hollywood Boulevard getting getting the same stuff thrown at them over and over and over again. <laughs> Here they come marching down the street. Yeah, trying trying all the the tactics and, and techniques that they've learned in the day. It, there was a lot of energy to it. It was quite uh, quite an extraordinary entourage, you know, to go with 20, 30 people to the club and get in all at the same time and just, you know, take over. Great fun. I used to do that every Any other thoughts every to share? week. I used to do that every week. Um, there was a place in London... Uh, I used to go to like every single week and between five and 25 of us would be there every single week. It was just hilarious. 